Okay. So we'll get up and start that warm up. Trip over a dog. All right, so for 60 seconds, we're just gonna squat and then reach over to the side, squat, reach. It's just nice and slow, kind of stretching out, opening up that chest, stretching out the legs, getting the blood circulating. I woke up kind of late today. I mean, I woke up several times, but I didn't get my butt out of bed until 10 after 7. I just was like laying there. It was cozy. Breathing and reaching. So you should start to feel that heart rate coming up a little bit. Oh my goodness. Maybe see a dog's big face. Couple more seconds. We'll go 10, eight, six, four, two. All right, so I'll stretch that out, maybe string out those arms. So we're gonna start, and you'll hear the beep, it'll be 30 seconds, and I'll go beep, 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 and then you go into your hold or your pulse. So the first one is push-ups. If push-ups don't work for you, you can do push-ups on the knees, you can do them on your toes. You can also just hold your plank for the whole 60 seconds if that's what you got today. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And we'll go with those push-ups. And three, two, and go ahead and go. Keeping that belly tight, head neutral with the spine. Oh my goodness. This is going to be fun. Oh, don't listen to that timer. You keep going. The dog hit it. That was only 15 seconds. We'll give you a little extra. That's okay. We can always use extra push ups. Need a helper to get this dog away. All right, so now you're playing hold. 30 second hold. A little more challenging when you have a dog in your shirt. Lots of fun. Keep breathing. Got about 15 seconds. Nice and strong, back flat. You want that butt up here. You also don't want this going on. Nice and straight. All right, so 15 seconds in between each exercise, we will be doing bicycles. So get ready for 60 seconds of bicycles. So turn onto your back and get ready for our 60 seconds of bicycles. So a little more slow. Pace today, not necessarily the bicycles, but everything else. Kind of, I don't know, I was, Monday and Tuesday wore me out. Or do you Monday and Tuesday? Monday and Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. So we're doing some strength, but we're doing some stretching. And then like I said, after each exercise, we're doing these bicycles to get the abs in. Not that we won't be getting the abs in on the other ones, we will. So keep it going, nice big twist, trying to get that elbow to the outside of the knee. Get that shoulder blade off the ground. Keep those eyes up. Breathe in, get about 10 seconds. All right, so now, we are going to be doing arms by our side. You can stay down. And you're going to just forward reach and come down. Come up and come down. So just keeping those arms by your side. And then you'll pulse and hold. So here we go. And if you just do it as a crunch, that's fine. If you want to come all the way up to a full sit up with those arms extended, that's good too. 
Inhaling down, exhaling up. Couple more seconds and then you're gonna hold and just pulse forward. All right, reach those fingertips forward, keep the shoulder blades off the ground. Keep your eyes on the ceiling, your chin up, little breaths. And then we have those bicycles and then we will get up and work on some legs. Should be burning a little bit. Come on, reach, reach. All right, little rest. And then we go into those bicycles. So placing those hands behind your head or your neck gently, kind of crunching that chin. And then really reaching. Let's go. 60 seconds of bicycles with a dog in your hair. On your head. That's good too. Breathe. We warned you. Nothing professional about these videos, right? We goof up. We must count. We got kids and animals bugging us. It just makes it a little extra challenging, right? Oh, yeah, this is great. Mine are halfway there. Really twist and squeeze. I want your core to be sore. Hey, I like Dr. Seuss. I want your core to be sore. Oh. I will not tell you. My husband, <laughs> you gotta be careful what I say here, uh, has a hard time being sentimental in cards to his mom, so he has now decided to write funny poems in her cards. <laughs> As soon as I can get this dog off my shirt. Woo. Okay, ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, I'm sorry. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reverse, cross, reverse, stop. So all in one leg, reverse, cross, reverse, back, reverse, Cross, reverse, back. Cross it. Give your kick, dog. Keeping it kind of low when you're moving that foot back. I have a dog attached to my shoelace. Now, hold that reverse and pulse. Pulse for 30. Get low. Hey, Gracie, can you try and get this dog off my foot, please? Sure. Thank you. A little yeah. lower. Yeah. Come on, 15 seconds. Yeah. 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 Pulse, pulse. How low yeah. can you go? Yeah. 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 Five seconds. Yeah. And then we'll go to the other side. All right, little shake out. So now you'll reverse at the left, cross it over to the right, come back to the reverse, and set it forward. You ready? Keep it up. Reverse, cross, reverse, tap. Make sure you squeeze it low when you. Moving that foot. My timer got off somehow. Keep going. Something silly is going on here. Couple more seconds. And then we'll hold that reverse lunge and pulse. I just gotta get my timer going right because something, I think the dog hit it. I'm gonna blame the dog. I'm just gonna blame whoever I can. All right, reverse that lunge, left side and hold it down. So pulse. And there's lots of people and animals in their house. There's always somebody to blame. Oh, look who's back. 
All right, hold it lower, lower, pause. Make those legs burn. Got about six seconds. Five. All right, bring it out, shake it out. That's okay. Come down to the ground for those bicycles. All right. And we're down. And we bicycle. Nice big twist. Try to get to the outside. Keep that core tight. Lower back stays pressed to the mat. Breathing, extending. And if you want to tap, you can tap those feet. Bring them up. Sometimes I feel like the tap adds a little more because you're almost getting that march with those legs. But you're still getting the core. From here, we'll be getting into a plank position. So we're gonna be doing a one leg mountain climber. So you're gonna bring that, just one knee in, back and forth, and then we're gonna hold that knee in and pulse up and down in that plank position. Keep it up. So come on up, flip it over to plank. So on the right side, you're just gonna bring that leg in and out. So keep that plank position. And you bring the knee in and back. And if you can keep it hovered, if you need to tap it, you can. Squeeze back, squeeze back. Breathe. Like I said, it's not, no cardio today. Got to do some cardio later. It's only about 50 minutes. So we went over the other day. I figured, hold it there. Pulse. Keep that knee nice and tight. Up and down. Holding it to the chest. Squeeze. Arm on. Breathe in. Hold it. Or up and down with the waist. Rolls. Knee stays in tight. Don't let it fall. All right, little rest. Now we gotta do the other side. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we do the other side, you get breaks. You get bicycles. I almost forgot. Flip it over. Flip a puppy. Okay, that's good. We get a break from our plank. And we go, bicycles. Breathe. Ow! He's trying to take my ponytail out. Oh. Big deliberate twist. So I always like when we do multiple rounds because first round's kind of practice. I'm not gonna have hair when I'm done, but. Keep going. I gotta get this dog out of my hair. Ah! Out. Ah, I'll flip it over. My lord. Teething. Awful. All right, so that left leg is gonna come into that slow mountain climber, really getting it right between those elbows. And out. In. Breathing and squeezing. So we'll get a lot of bicycles in. We'll get those abs working. Okay. So you hold that knee in. And you pulse up and down. A little bounce with the hip and the leg. Breathe and you should feel the burn. Keep that knee up. 
Lower left. Oh, I stopped early. All right, bicycles. Flip it over. Then we have tricep dips. So we know how to do these. There we go. All right. We might be um, down a puppy. He's like attached to my hair. Come on. No hair. No hair. Come on. You should be feeling it in those obliques. Whole core should be fired up and activated. Especially after those planks. All right, so now we have tricep dips. If you want to do it on a chair, you can do it on a chair. If you want to just do it on the floor, which I'm going to, just because I'm set up here, that's what we'll do. So fingertips pointing at your bottom, elbows back. We dip. Breathe. And then at the 30, you'll just lower and hold the isometric hold on those triceps. Almost there. All right, lower it and hold it. Oh. And then we'll come up. Kind of like we did for the warm up, but we're gonna do a squat and then bring it into a twisting standing crunch. Almost there. Oh, my legs, or my legs, my arms are shaking. Woo. Right, shake it out, bicycles. Bicycles, bicycles. We gotta get those bicycles in some way. I'm missing riding. Well, I am riding at home, but it's not the same. Let's go. And obviously this is not the same as riding a bike. We can pretend, we can close our eyes and remember the days, the loud music and fun and no dogs in your hair. Oh. Breathe and hopefully those days will be back soon. Minus the dog in your hair. Ow. Seriously, I'm going to be bald. Almost there. A little extra entertainment for you today. Although you're not watching me. You're working hard, so you might not see this dog attached to my hair. Must be love. This minute feels, uh oh, I think my phone's ringing, which might be making this minute longer. <laughs> About three, two, one. Ah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So bring it on up. So we are going to be squat, crunch, squat, crunch. So back and forth, squat in the middle, crunch it over to the side, twisting. All right, dog can't get my hair now. Let's go. Squat, crunch, crunch. And then for the second 30, we're just gonna pause this spot.
Couple more exercises, and then we start from the top. All right, get in that squat. Keep those hips back. No knees over toes. Get low and pulse. Then we're down on the ground again for bicycles. Then we'll be doing plank jacks and then a star plank hold. Then we'll come up one more time for sumo squats. Come on, get low. Shake it out. All right, get down on the ground for those bicycles. Hey, I got my water, I left it in here. I'm coming back. Woo, bicycles. Let's go. Really think about the muscles you're working. Majority is your core right now. You'll feel it in those legs too, though, just by keeping them up and extending. But really breathing oxygen into those muscles. Smiling. I can smile now. I don't have a talk in my ear. You must have found something else to play with. Um, now with the plank jacks you can also do step outs if the plank jack is too much but if not do those plank jacks and you get that heart rate up a little bit because that's a little cardiovascular right almost there Flip it over, get ready to get in that plank. I'm gonna try to put my hair back up since he took it out again. All right, get ready. And we plank jack. Only 30 seconds. I mean, yes, technically 60, but you can split it up so it's like, not so bad. Almost there. Right, hold it out in a star shape. Your legs are wide. Hold that plank. Arms are lined up. The belly's hanging out. Woo! Breathe. Almost there. I'll drop that, flip it. You know what we gotta do. Oh yes, bicycles. Here we go. West. Ooh, smile. Oh, squeeze. Keep it up. Maybe your counter, and you've been counting how many reps you've done with these bicycles to see how many you do all together. I did not do that. I was count. I usually like get to four and then. I don't know, either I start yapping or my mind wanders and then it's, it's over. I don't know. I feel like I'm turning, like in a circle. No, pretty soon you're gonna see the back of me. Because I have twisted. Rock and roll it up. We've got those sumo squats with alternating heel raises. And then you're going to try to hold that sumo squat with the heels up. So get low, turn those toes out. You're holding the sumo squat and alternating those heel raises. Come on, up on those toes. Get a little lower. Lower, heels a little higher. Come 
Come on. Simple stuff today. All right, get low. Get those heels off the ground. Squeeze and hold. Let those legs shake. A little lower. Heels a little higher. I'm shaking. I'm gonna go about 15 seconds. Lots of mat work today though. Look, I put on all those bicycles so we could like, we said we love our mats. And I should have said this at the beginning. Woo. All right, shake it out. Guess what? Bicycles. Um, if you want to incorporate weights into any of those exercises, feel free. You can hold the weight behind your head for bicycles. You can hold them for those squats in front of you or to the side. Um, so this is wrapping up round one. Now we get to do it all over again because what fun would it be to only do it once? You'd be sad. All right. Deep breathing. And again, I know it's supposed to be another rainy day. It's not raining right now, but can I get some cardio in even 10, 20 minutes? It's a lot more motivating when the sun's out though, I know that. Makes you happy. I said happy, and then the song, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands just popped in my head. Ah. Right, come on up. Whoa, oh no, what is our first one? Push ups. Push ups and plank hold. So, I extended our break for a second because I need to drink water. So get ready to do your push-ups on your hands, on your, on your hands, obviously on your hands, on your knees or on your toes, breathing, For 30 seconds. All right, hold that plank. Pushing through those heels, keeping that core tight, arms are lined up. If you need to drop it down to your forearms, you can do that too. Almost there. All right, little rest, little flip. You know what to do. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I need to wipe a little bit. Now I'm starting to sweat. Okay. Chin up. Lower back press. You can also, if you guys ever have resistance or if you have resistance bands, you can incorporate those into a lot of these. Putting them around your thighs, so when you're doing this, you're getting a little extra. You're on those squats. It's a little extra fun. We have those forward reach crunches or sit-ups next. Um, with our arms by our side. So just by elevating those arms and holding them up, you are getting a little bit of exercise for them. A little bit of toning. And then I thought about it after I named it, flab to fit, I'm like, uh-oh, I hope they don't think I'm calling them flabby. I wasn't. Right. Little rest. Those arms are gonna be up. The idea is to get those shoulder blades off the ground. So whether you do it as a crunch or a full sit up, up to you. Why does it feel like this long? Oh, all right, let's go. Inhaling back, exhaling up. Like I said, just keeping it as a crunch is perfectly fine. You could probably get even more in. It might actually be a little harder. 
We always want harder, right? You know, you don't want to go for easier. If you want to go for easier, you stay in bed. That's easier. All right, hold those arms up, shoulders like up, and pulse. Reach forward. Breathe in like, whatever it was like, damn, baby. I don't know. I don't even know if I breathe. I don't think I breathe at all. I think I just clenched it. I don't even know why I'm talking about this right now. So that just pops in my head and then it usually just comes right out of my mouth. It gets me in trouble sometimes. All right, lay it down and bicycles. My favorite. All things bike. We love it. Ready? We're laying on the ground that 15 seconds seems like a long time. So if you want to start early, go for it. Again, because this is a little more slow moving. Typically, I always say, you need rest. Can't work 100% 24 hours a day. That's why we need to sleep. Just like exercise, you can't perform your best unless you're taking resting periods and then giving it your all when it's time to work. Recovery is good and necessary, just like stretching, warming up and cooling down. Keep it up. And then we'll come up for those <clears throat> legs again, the reverse, cross, reverse, fun. Who's my castle? Like I said. All right, we're rolling up. Bring it up. Drink. Too much ice. I'm out of water. All right, let's start with that right leg or whichever. It doesn't matter to me. Reverse, cross, reverse. And we go. Reverse. Keep low. Cross, reverse. Sometimes, sometimes I do the workout first. Sometimes I don't. And I thought about doing 60 seconds of work and then the pulsing for 30. And now I'm wishing I would have. All right. Woo! Don't fall over. Hold that reverse lunge. Pulse. Keep those shoulder blades up. Back straight. Squeeze. Lower. Burn, burn, burn. Right, I want you to cross that lunge and pulse it there. We're gonna do a little extra. So cross it and then pulse. Same side. A little bonus. So crossing it behind. And Jess says this a lot too. If it bothers your knees, and just take it into a reverse straight behind. Tricked it, didn't I? So this stuff just pops in my head and then boop, out it comes. Ooh, shake it out. All right, we get a little break by going down to the ground before we do that other leg and doing bicycles. So get on the ground, pull that belly in, take a deep breath. Go. So I had about 30 seconds for those legs. See, I was like talking to myself about stuff, talking to you. And I, I know I should be changing the workout. I, I think it might have been a Schwinn. I think I said this before. A Schwinn training where they said, don't lie to your people. Like, if you say something's going to be 60 seconds, make it 60 seconds. Don't make it shorter. Don't make it longer. I'm like, well, I don't intentionally lie. I mean, that's not my goal. Sometimes it's just called more like, surprise! Keep you on your toes. Or on your back right now. Come on. Squeeze. Belly, belly, belly. Bring it on up. So, other side, 
time, reverse, cross, reverse. Then we'll hold that reverse and pulse, and then we'll hold the cross and pulse. Ready? Keeping it low, so you reverse, you cross, you reverse. And usually, and I know Lori says this a lot too, you're gonna have a side that is a little easier for balancing from one side to the other. My other side might have been my good side. Maybe it'll be a good side. Okay, reverse it, pulse. Honestly, I think it depends on the day too. Like some days I feel like I'm good with the balance. Most days no. I don't know what she did a couple weeks ago. Stick your leg up and I don't even know. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's not happening. Now bring that leg across, get in that cross position and pulse in three, two, let's go. So crossing it back and pulsing. Ooh, you should feel the burn right on the outside of that thigh. A little bit on that front quad, both quads actually. Oh, shake it out, down on the ground, bicycles. So we've got the bicycles. <clears throat> then we have the single leg mountain climber, knee crunch. Ready? I would say, I mean, obviously exercise is always important and eating right, staying healthy, but especially during these crazy times because we need something to keep us happy. I know a lot of people are suffering from depression during this, especially if you're by yourself. I mean, you can't really get depressed in my house. There's just too much going on. But for people that are isolated, that's sad. But we gotta keep our exercise and we gotta stay healthy. In case we need to take care of everybody. Pick up poop from a dog. Ay, ay, ay. And yesterday it rained, so he was all, he's like a little princess. Oh no, I can't go outside the rain. I'm just gonna pee all over the house. All right, so get into that plank position. One leg crunch. If you can keep that leg floating, even better. If you need to tap it, you tap it. Whatever works for you. All right. Here we go. Squeeze and back. Squeeze and back. Making sure you're breathing. Now, if you think about it this way, those bicycles are my gift to you. Instead of just having a 15 second break and going right into the plank on the other side, you get to roll over and rest. Okay, so hold that knee in and then you pulse up and squeeze. Squeeze it into the chest, lower it to the back. Breathe. I won't say what this looks like, it's not an attractive exercise, but it is effective. Almost there. All right. Let's flip it over for those bicycles. Taking a little break between. I'm giving you extra time because I got to have my shoe. What is that? All right. I'm ready. You ready? All ready. We could sing that cheer. My son's baseball team. What they say? I'm fired up. You fired up? Yeah. Are you fired up? You're like, no, please don't sing that again. You should be fired up. Should you feel the burn in that belly? 
Maybe sweating a little bit if you're one that sweats. I've only met a couple people that have come to recycle where I've offered them a towel. Oh no, I don't need that. I don't sweat. I'm like, oh, me neither. I need a, one of those, what are they called? Back sheet towels, like a 10 by 10. Oh, I'm almost there. We got about eight seconds. Now we get back into that plank. All right, flip it over, get into that plank. Fun times. It's Friday. I kind of feel like every day is Friday. Me and Jess said if it wasn't for these workouts, we never know what day it was. All right, let's go. Other leg in and out. Squeeze. Think about that core. Yes, your leg is engaged. That leg that is not moving is engaged. The leg that's moving is engaged. Your arms are holding you up, but really focusing on that squeeze, core. All right, hold it in to the ground, to the chest, to the ground. Just squeeze. Now, if something doesn't work for you, just hold your plank. You got to do something now. Squeeze. Keeping that leg up, though, it doesn't touch the ground and rest. Woo. You know what to do. We have got bicycles. I need a little sip of water. And then triceps. All right. Let's do this. You guys are going to have bad dreams about bicycles today, aren't you? Doing them in your sleep. These are good. And again, I do like the little tap. I almost feel like, again, it fires up the legs a little more. And it even works to lower the abdominals a little more. So feel free to lightly tap as you're rotating. And don't forget to breathe. I mean, obviously, we're breathing, we're alive, but really trying to inhale and exhale. If you can't do it on each rep side to side, at least do it like inhale here, exhale here. Almost there. Up we go. So tricep dips. <clears throat> Fingertips point pointed, I can't speak. Towards your bottom, elbows back. I'm up on those heels. And we go. Job. And again, if you have a chair handy or close by, you want to use a chair and get a little bit deeper into that dip than you can on the floor. Almost there to the hold. All right, lower, hold that tricep. I just looked at how much time we have left. Okay, come on, 10 seconds. Oh, the burning, the burning, the shaking. I hope yours are too. Three, two, one. Ah. All right. Wanna ride on your bicycle? Come on. Fun, fun. Okay, so this is not even slow though today. It's almost like a, a recovery day. <laughs> right? You're like, no, we don't need recovery days. That's Tuesday, Thursday. Hopefully you guys are still doing a little something on the off days that we're not here. Listen, I tried to get Jessica 
to do workouts every day. Somebody said that. No, she always says, well, if you want to. I can always persuade her, hence three years of fish fry help. I sign myself up for stuff and then I make her do it with me. And she loves me, so she does it. She's good. And then what she do? She makes her husband do it too. Who was the first person I called when I got foster kids and I needed an alternate caregiver? Hey, Jess. <laughs> Come on up, what do we got? Oh, crunches and, I mean squats with cross crunches. It's almost over. Don't let the sadness affect your performance. You ready? Squat, twist, squat, twist. Big twist, kind of like those whoop, bicycles. Oh. It's true though, they always say, if you need help with something, whether it's volunteering, who are you gonna ask? You ask the busiest person, cause they'll get it done. And they'll say yes, <laughs> cause like me. I don't know, sometimes I don't make no's in my vocabulary. I pull the squat, pulse. My husband would beg to differ. Keep breathing, get low. We're almost there. So we're back down, you know what we're doing. I'm not even gonna say it. Then we have those plank jacks and star plank. All right, down we go. See, we really we really stood it up today. You're welcome. We'll sit, hydrate, gotta stay hydrated. I don't know where I heard this, probably one of our certifications, but about the one ounce of water per minute of workout. If you just know. But that is just for the workout. You still got to drink your eight glasses of water a day. And starting out with a glass of water to get everything moving in the morning. So drinking a big glass of water before you eat, so you don't overeat. Um, I try. Depends. If I really like the food, I have a hard time not overeating. I tell my mom, stop making me spaghetti. Oh. Come on. Kind of like what Jess said the other day. Well, when I don't have to count, what do I do? Blah, 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 blah. Come on, keep it up, almost there. Plank jacks. So get into that plank position. I turn my mat a little bit so I gotta get my feet on the wood. Or you can do step outs if you want a little lower intensity. Okay. Obviously the jacks will get your heart rate up a little bit more, but you can alternate feet. All right, get those legs wide, hold that plank. Breathe, smile. Almost there. Teaching. Come on, you got about six seconds. And down we go. Flip it around. That's where planks make me sweat more than anything. All right. All right. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to tap. Breathe. 
I'm being quiet. Sometimes when I'm teaching off the bike, I'll try to like walk around for a minute and not talk. It feels like an eternity. I know you guys pray for those moments. Doesn't happen very often. Oh, up we go. Sumo. Woo -woo. I do that. Woo -woo. Remind me, it's frozen. And you'd say, big sumo blow out. Okay. Sumo spot hold. Alternate those heels. Get low. Hello, can you go? Do the way that. A little lower. Lift, lift. 10 seconds. Then we keep that hold. We raise those heels if you can. You get the little pulses. Okay, heels up. Pulse. Say burn, baby, burn. Just go and burn up. Come on, lower. Get those heels up a little higher. Push on those legs. A little more resistance. That's always fun. Come on. All right, bring it down. So the good news is, um, somehow I, somehow I did. I kind of goofed up my timer a little bit. So we're gonna do these bicycles. And then we're just gonna have Two bonus minutes. We're gonna side plank it. So you're gonna go up and down with those hips in the side plank and then you're gonna hold. And we'll just do a minute on each side and then we'll be done. Don't you love when there's surprises? I feel like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming. That's so exciting. We're almost there. It's like, once you get to the end, you're like, whatever, I'm good. It's like, it's like I have you captive. I'm gonna keep you. I don't want you to leave yet. Keep breathing. All right, roll it up, pick a side. So I would like you to Lower and lift the hips for 30 and then just hold that side plank. If that doesn't work for you, hold the side plank for 60 seconds. You ready? And up we go. So lower, squeeze. And get enough oblique stay, right? Almost there. All right, hold it up. Lift that bottom hip high. Make sure your wrist, elbow, and shoulder are lined up. Your hips are stacked. You're not rolling forward. You're not rolling back. Straight on. Breathe and squeeze. A little higher. You can always drop that bottom leg if you need to. If you want a little extra, you can lift that top leg. I'm good. Lift that arm up. Take it over. Again. Wave. Wave. Hold. Three. Two, one. All right, swing it around. One more set. Well, I just technically two, I guess. We'll do those bicycles and then we'll do that other side. All right, you'll thank me. You'll be happy. It's Friday. Maybe, I don't know. It's not like we have parties to go to. So hopefully we're not overeating, but sometimes too being at home all the time, might be snacking extra, could be doing some boredom eating, try not to. Oh, 
Come on, big squeeze. Your belly's gonna thank you. Pretty soon, baby suits are coming out. Maybe you wanna get in that bikini. Glad you did all these crunches. Okay, we got another side to do. Can't neglect one side. You ready for it? And up we go. So we're trying to pulse, hip down, hip up, squeeze. Breathe that. Oh, here we go. Hold it. Hold it. You can have that hand in the air like you just don't care. You can have it on the ground if you need a little extra support. Put my hands up on my hip. Squeeze, lift that hip a little higher. We're almost there. One more bicycle. We're done. I promise, I promise, I promise. No more surprises. All right, this is it. Bicycles and we are done, promise. Well, a little stretch, but go. Tap those toes, really squeeze and breathe. Come on, we're toning, we're getting healthy. Get those endorphins up. Happy, happy, happy. Almost there. Looks like a little bit of sun is trying to peek out through the haze. Oh, on five seconds. Take those hands overhead. Push through those heels. Reach. Reach. Maybe you're reaching for my off button. How do I make her stop? All right. Take your hands out to the side, or you could do it in a goal post. Bring those knees in. We're going to roll those legs over to the right, and then your head's going to turn to the left. Big deep breaths. Again. Slow moving, so you might not be out of breath. You might be able to take those deep breaths already. Take a big inhale, bring your head to center, legs to center. Take them over to the left. You look right. Hello. Nice twist. Big inhale and exhale. And inhale and bring them back to center. Take that right foot in the air. Interlace those fingers behind that thigh and flex and point the toes, kind of roll out the ankle. Push away with the leg as you're pulling in with the arms. So resistance in both directions. You're fighting yourself. Who's going to win? Leg arms, leg arms. Uh, flex the foot. All right. Now take that ankle and cross it over the opposite knee. Lift that left leg off the ground. You can interlace behind your left leg or just kind of gently push that right knee out to the front a little bit. Stretching, opening up those hip flexors. You can flex your feet and fire it up a little more. And then release. Left leg goes in the air like you just don't care. All right, and interlace behind. Maybe roll out that ankle, flex and point, and then hold that flex foot. Push away with the leg, pull in with the arms. I think legs would win. The biggest muscles. Definitely for me, my arms are wimpy wimpy. 
All right, cross it over the opposite knee. Lift that foot off the ground. Kind of flex your feet if you want a little more. Push out with that knee. Don't overdo it, but you're trying to open up those hip flexors and stretch. You can also interlace with both hands and then just kind of push that knee forward on your own. And release. Take those legs out to the ground, hands overhead. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time and reaching for your shins or your toes. Bring that chest towards those thighs. And big inhale up. I'm gonna unmute you. We are done. Good job, you guys. Thanks for coming out today, or not coming out, but you know, coming on. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna stop recording.